Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. And today we'll be going over the Maven analytics data sets. We'll be going over the Mexico toy store data. I have already downloaded this data, but let's just look at the preview of it. Preview data. Now it has four tables. We have products, stores, sales, and inventory. And all these are connected. So let's just get into Power BI, which will be our tool to get insights into the data. This is the Power BI canvas, and we are going to download the data into Power BI. So the data is in the CSV format. So we're going to use this um, CSV to download or inventory. Okay, so you can either load it directly into your Power BI or you can transform the data, which will take you to Power Query and all that. We'll get into that later on, but for now I'm going to download it into I'm going to load it into Power BI Desktop. So when it loads, it, the fields pane will be popped up and we will see the data here, the table, sorry, here. So it's loading. Yeah, got it inventory. Let's do this again. Products this time, open, loading, loading, load. Products, so you get the gist. So I'm going to pause this and load the remaining two and come back. Okay, now we are going to move to this pane where we have these three icons. Um, these are the windows. So this window, this is the report window and we are on this window right now. This is the data window where we get to look at our data and perform some operations here like adding columns and new measure and things like that. We'll get into all that later on. So here you can have a view of our data. And this window here with the lines and connections, this is the modeling window or the model window. Now, this is where you connect your data. So when you look at all those dashboards and you click this one, this one pops up with table increases, table decreases, it's the power of your connection or your model. That's the right terminology. So everything, your tables are all connected and it's for you to find the connection. But Power BI helps us find the connections. Yeah, although people say like everything, nothing's 100%. So sometimes Power BI gets it wrong or you don't want it connected the way um, Power BI has done it. But for people just starting out into the industry, which I am, what I usually do is let Power BI do its thing. Then I go and look. If I'm not happy with it, fine. I, cor I correct what the connection is. If I'm happy with it, move on with that. Okay. So let's, this is, Power BI has connected this for us. But let me just delete the connection and let's do this from scratch. So to delete, just click on the line. Do you want to delete this relationship? Yes. So I'm going to delete everything and we'll start from scratch. So one key thing in connecting your data is knowing a primary key and a foreign key. Now, why is this important? Let's go back to 
this data window. And let us look at stores. You see, these four tables are telling a story. But right now, the story is not connected, but it's become connected soon. So we have the store. Maven Stories, Stories Guadalajara 1. He has a store ID of 1. This one is identifying this store name, Maven Stories Guadalajara. Maven Toys Monterey store name has a store ID of two. There can only be store ID one, which must always match Maven Toys Guadalajara. We can't see store ID one in another table, which matches uh, Maven Toys Monterey, no. Guadalajara would be one, Monterey, Maven Toys Monterey one would be for store ID two. In store ID 7, we have Maven Toys Monterey 2. This is just Maven Toys Monterey 1, but these are different stores. So it must have different store ID. This store ID takes the name of the store. It's just like in a family, a nuclear family. You name, you name your child, let me say Zena, to two different children in the same family. So they are bearing the same Zainab name and the same son name. It will cause a lot of confusion. That's basically the same thing. Well, you can have Zainab in the extended family, but in the nuclear family, you can't have Zainab, 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 Mustafa, Zainab, Mustafa in the same house, two different children. That's not possible. There's a lot of confusion. That's basically the same thing. Now, in the foreign, in another table, so this store would have different products. So when in the, let's look at different products now. This product, you can see action figure one. It has product ID one. If we go to, so we can have action figure one in another table having a different um, product ID. It must always have one. But in another table, the product ID one, okay, right here, let me take it like this. Right now, we can only have one product ID one in this table. This table is the primary key. This product ID is the primary key for action figure one. In another table, we would have the sales table, we'll have product ID because a lot of sales will go on concerning that particular product. So the sales table is going to sh show us that, okay, somebody came in and bought um, action figure, which is product ID one. And hopefully we want a lot of people to have come in to buy action figure. So in the sales table, we can have duplicates of product ID one, because a lot of people will have come in and bought action figures. So I expect that when I open, when I look at product ID one, when I filter product ID one, I will see a lot of product ID ones there. Means a lot of people came and bought sales, um, the action figure. So let's do that. So, we can see lots of product ID one. Now this product ID one here, we call it a foreign key. A foreign key because it is not in its original table, which was the product table. Right now we are finding product ID one in the sales table. In Nigerian term, we say Jaffa. That means you have, uh, for people that have that, immigrate to other countries. So you can look at it in this context. The product ID jaffered from its table, which is the product table, into another table, the sales table. The sales table is a foreign table to the product ID. The product ID in the product table is the primary key. But when it jaffers, that is, it moves to the sales table, it becomes a foreign key to the sales table. It's like a foreigner in another person's land. 
So, and when you're in other persons, when it's a foreign key, it can have duplicates. So, which we've seen here. What this means is that a lot of sales has tra sales transactions has gone on when um, concerning the product ID one. Yeah. So from this analysis, we can see that there was sale ID. The sale ID means every transaction that has gone on in the store. So we can say, okay, somebody came in or there was a sales transaction on this date in this store. This store ID, remember, it identifies a unique store. They bought the, this um um, toy, which was the, I think, animal figure toy, and units, the number of toys that were bought. So you can see that um, 21 units were bought. So we can, we have the inventory. Let's look at inventory. The inventory, what does inventory mean? Stock in a store, yeah. So we can see that store ID, that's the store. The product, you can see there are a lot of products um, ID, there are duplicates in this column. Then stock on hand, how many stock, um, how many stock, yes, do we have of this product? So how does that affect your modeling? Now, when it comes to modeling your tables, there has to be a link between one table and the other table. And that link is your primary key and foreign key. They have to talk to each other. So first of all, your the keys don't have to have the same name. If we look at the sales and store, we have store ID here, we have store ID here. It can be store and store ID. It can still connect. What Power BI is looking at is the data types. It has to have similar data types. So if we want to connect the store table to the sales table, we just click and drag store ID to sales store ID uh, to sales table. You can click and drag from here to here or from store ID here on this table to store ID on the sales table. Whichever way you do it is fine. Now, when that is done, we see this line, one and the asterisk. What does that mean? It means that from one store here, we have a lot of transactions. This is called one to many. So one store will have lots of transaction going, transactions going on within the store. And, um, we can see the arrow directing the flow of the transaction. Secondly, when we highlight this, we can see the keys that, that are linking these two tables together, this and this. So that's basically how we model our data. So we can see that there's a connection between the stores and the sales because in a store, a lot of sales will go on. So a lot of sales are going on. What are they selling? They are selling products. So there should be a link between the product and the sales table. Product and sales table should talk to each other. So the product ID here, let's check. There's a product ID here. We drag and drop, we've linked it. Yes. Yeah. So now there's a link. One product to many sales. So here we expect, like we've seen, to see duplicates of a particular product ID because a lot of people will come to buy that product. Now, products, inventory, there should be a link because inventory is stock, um, how much stock you have of particular product. So let these tables talk to each other. Product ID, drag it, drop it here. They are talking. Look at it here, done. Inventory, stores, stores should have lots of inventories. So stores table and inventory tables should talk. Store ID, store ID here, drag it. 
they are talking now. So I think that's that for modeling. I think it gets complicated, more complicated than this, but right now, this is how I understand it. And I hope it has helped somebody in their Power BI journey. So next up, we'll be digging into this data and getting as much insights as we can. I hope this has helped. Please like, share, and subscribe, and see you later. Bye.